Hi, my name is Jörg Kapanek. I come from the Department of Development Studies in Czech Republic, Olomouc, and I'm here to tell you a story. The story of a crisis map of the Czech Republic what was the first nationwide Ushahidi application for crisis situation in our country. But before I start talking about crisis map, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever experienced a crisis as a victim, any one of you? Because the main question is, when you are a victim, what do you need to know? Well, when I was a small boy, I was like 12 years old, we had a flood in my city. And in that time, it was 1997, there was no internet no cell phones, and if I wanted to know what is happening around me, what is happening in my environment, how a school actually looks like, if we have to go to school back or not, I had to sit on a bike and bike there, and then bike back home and tell my friends, hey, it looks like that. There was no other way how we can spread information about the floods. Well, the situation obviously changed since then. I grew up a bit, and now we had a Facebook, and we have an internet, and we have other sources, and in 2010, we had another major floods. In that days, national television decided, okay, we have a cover around the whole country, we can use our power to share the information and collect the information about the crisis. So they used their Facebook wall to collect pictures, videos, and comments, what is happening around the country. And this was actually the origins of the crisis map of the Czech Republic. Two, two years later, they realized they want to put this information on the map, they started a project of crisis map, saying, become the crisis information, report what is happening around you. And this was the first thinking about, yeah, we want to put this information from Facebook to the map. And they started implementing Ushahidi with the very typical stuff like Google Maps and OpenStreetMap on the background, WMS and QMLs plugins, and other maps and other zones on it. And the thing was that the whole Ushahidi application was very typical, as you can see on the other ones, that you have some feeds either from direct Facebook and Twitter information, or from the news, or from the people, went directly to the team, verification process, analysis process, and then it end up on the map. The reporting were similar to other Ushahidi applications, either Twitter, or Facebook, or emails, or you just go to the map, click where it is, and send a report. And when the map was ready, we've been basically waiting for something to happen, and one year later, Man, another major floods in the Czech Republic and the Central Europe. About 26,000 people had to be evacuated and about 50,000 people were involved in all this situation. And it basically hit about half of the country. In these days, we had about 10,000 reports from different sources. You can see how the sources were distributed. Out of these reports, 2,000 of them made it to the final map. And this was done by 14 volunteers and five employees of the Czech television and the country. Uh, you can see that we had uh, two waves. The first one was the first week of the floods. There was a lot of views and lots of visitors on, on the web page. It was great. We had a lot of actually people coming and reporting. The problem was that during the first wave, you can see the huge peak. That's when the crisis map was announced on the national broadcasting. We had a 40% of old page views. It was like a huge amount of people actually entering the web page at the same time. And if you're from IT, you know what happened. The servers went down. Yeah, well, it, they went down for a few hours, and this map was not available for its users. And we actually learned a lot of stuff from this. And I want to share what we've learned in the second half of my talk. Well, the evolution is that what you see behind me is a spatial distribution of the reports. And you see the peak in the middle of the country uh, as a highland. There were no floods. But it's a geographical center of the country, so realizing that even though you have a super tool, you're still working with people who are not really comfortable with computers sometimes, so they forgot to click on the map where it is happening. So we had a lot of reports without a location. Those were our first lessons learned, put more guidelines. Second lesson is what people want to actually talk about is what is happening on the ground. So weather situations, flooded areas, risk of floods. There were other categories what they can actually talk about or a report, but mainly they were reporting these four things. What is happening on the ground? Not asking for help, but sharing the information. Yes, we had dropouts, mainly connection with the TV announcements, and we didn't really use verification because it was too many uh, reports. We didn't have a time for that. What we've learned is that reports were actually very good. There was a lot of factuals, a lot of facts, a lot of pictures, a lot of videos, and we can basically use them immediately with a limited amount of verification. And this was the story of the crisis map of the Czech Republic. If you have more questions, find me around. 
text me, email me, find me on Facebook, Twitter, whatever. We can talk about it. I was happy to be here. That was my last slide. Thank you.